What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC Spike Myth Cup video. So, the other day, I I was just messing around on the Spike Myth Cup ladder, and I've got a couple of really fun teams that I want to try out, uh, but today we're going to be using Death Grips, which is Choice Banded uh, Crush Grip Regigigas. I've done pretty well in room tours with this team so far uh for the most part th my like main account my moxie boosted account on spike myth cup is pretty low on the ladder i've mostly just been messing around with different ideas all week uh, and i haven't done like a dedicated laddering session yet however i want to announce something uh i am starting a patreon exclusive series which is literally just going to be you know, two videos each week. I hop on the ladder and do a dedicated laddering session. We're going to be starting from the bottom and seeing how high we can go. And all the games are going to be recorded. So I thought that'd be fun. I actually haven't had a dedicated laddering uh, series on my channel for a while. And I tend to do pretty fine without them. So I thought it'd be fun to put it as like a Patreon thing. So if you want to support my Patreon, it's it's $1 a month. Get your names on the uh, competitive lore and video essay videos, which come out at the end of the week. Um, and... I think I'm going to make it $3 to unlock the uh, the two videos a week, maybe $5. I'll probably do $5, so it's like $1, $5, there's either tier, because um, I'm going to do two videos a week. That sounds about right. So yeah, uh, today we're going to hop on the ladder and test out this team that I've been running for a little bit. It's just going to be the Choice Man Regigigas with the Citrus Berry, Galarian Weezing. We have Shuka Incineroar, Taipu Fini with Heal Pulse Scald, Moonblast Protect, Safety Goggles, Zapdos, and of course our friend Choppleberry Stack Attacka. So yeah, uh, before we get into it, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day, what Gen 8 Pokemon do you think gets the best benefit out of Dynamax being gone? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, I've mostly just been messing around with different random teams and haven't set down the ladder yet, so I think, what's our ladder here? It's pretty low. We're like almost at the bottom. Uh, Spike with 1065, yeah. 10 wins, 12 losses, so... We're just going to use this and see how well we can do. I thought it'd be fun. Let's go ahead and get into it. No, no. Honestly, this is where most of the losses came from. I was like, no, this can work. This can work. Uh, this goes hard, but we're using death grips. So crush grip, I should, I feel like I should explain this because I haven't explained it. Crush grip is, um, <laughs> it's Regigigas strongest move barring any recharge moves. It's basically reverse normal type physical eruption or water spout. It depends on the opponent's HP and not, not yours. Yes, my body is Reggie. GLHF. Okay. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, I quite like the Regigigas and Weezing leads. So just so I can show them death grips, it's hilarious. Trust me. Uh, however, oh man, I kind of want to lead off Zapdos. I kind of really want to lead off Zapdos. I kind of really, really, really want to lead off Zapdos because I think it could be really funny. I kind of really think I should actually. Oh man, should I? No, I'm going to lead off with Death Grips because it's just too funny. Tapu Fini in the back seems absolutely amazing. We're going to go Incineroar. I want to click Choice Banded Crush Grip at least once in this video. And it looks like... Uh, today is not going to be that day. Let's go Incineroar. And... I think I'll also go Tapu Fini here. So we'll just turn on everybody's abilities. We'll just turn on everybody's abilities, uh, but mostly just to block everything. <laughs> I want to intimidate the Scizor and actually go for um, my terrain to block the uh, Will-O-Wisp, which I assume would be coming out from this uh, Sableye. Obviously, Bullet Punch will hurt really, really bad. Actually, with that in mind, I should probably go Finny and then Incineroar, so Incineroar takes the Bullet Punch. There's the Fake Out. There's the bullet punch. Does hardly anything. Less than nothing. Uh, does Flare Blitz feel safe? I feel like Flare Blitz is super duper safe, but I think what I want to do instead is Moonblast and Parting Shot, because I doubt the Scizor is going to stay in here. Moonblast should do a chunk to whatever wants to come in. They don't have any resists on their team uh, that aren't already on the field. All right. As my dog is... My, my dog's in, in the corner of the room, just like laying in his back, stretching out and going, ah, bah, 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 bah. that's always fun. 
while they're thinking. There's the Tapu Fini. Cool. Oh, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Is today the day? Okay, today's going to have to be the day because otherwise this uh, this Zapdos is going to be a menace. Today has to be the day. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I can't even lock Crush Grip. No. I can't lock the funny. It's 30 base power and choice banded. Do you guys think it KOs? It's it's really weak, guys. Oh, that's really bad, actually. That's like super duper bad. No. Oh, no. I'm going to lock Crush Grip and just hope. Because I... If it's, if it's, you know, not Scarf, I outspeed. Yes! Okay, that's dead. Oh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Because it's a weak move when they have low HP, but it's literally just like a one-shot on anything at full health. I one-shot Urshifu with this thing. That should scare you. You should be afraid. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing we did last time. Because I no longer want to lock Crush Grip. Granted, it would do a ton to Scizor. Probably like half. Oh, am I going to lock Crush Grip? No, I'm not going to do that. I want to Intimidate again. Uh, I don't know if there's Swords Dance, but this is still pretty safe. Low Kick Zapdos is kind of based. I do prefer Close Combat, though, just for the higher damage on things across the board. On Zapdos specifically. I think on other Pokemon it's fine, but on Zapdos you probably want that. All right, I'm going to go on a limb and say that they probably don't have Swords Dance, and they have very limited switch in. so I'm going to Flare Blitz here and Moonblast you. If it's Rillaboom, I'm in a really, really good spot because that, that Moonblast is just going to do chunks. Tapu Fini, okay. Sounds good. We're going to get rid of you. Oh, dude. It is time. We are going to lock the nastiest Crush Grip on this Tapu Fini and just ignore it beyond that. <laughs> beyond that, this Tapu Fini is getting hard ignored. Okay. Um, I can Parting Shot you and go for the Moonblast onto you. I'm probably going to get, you know, faked out on one of my Pokemon, but it shouldn't matter. I really, oh, I wish this thing was at full health because my Crush Grip is only going to be like 100 base power now. Muddy Water, okay. Do you think it has Protect? I don't know. It doesn't really matter anymore. How much is my Crush Grip doing? It's 106. Listen, guys, I know that I'm probably going to get burned here, but it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it if I can click Crush Grip on this Tapu Fini and one-shot it. It's 106 base power and we're choice banded. This is going to come very close. Don't Protect. Silly little guy. <laughs> Oh, I love that move so much. <laughs> that move is so fun. <laughs> GG, well played. So yeah, if you're wondering why... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you're wondering why uh, Crush Grip over anything else, really, it's literally just the fact that, like, as far as normal moves go, I'm not afraid of getting burnt because of my, you know, turning off Prankster and Tapu Fini. Um, so facade seems okay. Body slam doesn't feel strong enough. And if I'm going to choice ban this thing, dude, I'm going to click the highest base power possible, but I don't want to recharge. I beat you last time we played. So when I see you again, it's the final best of three, LOL. All right. Ooh, okay. Um, Reggie Alecki. Let me think. I have a couple of options for Reggie Alecki. Um, man, let me think. Do I just want to lead off Regigigas, Zapdos, bring you in the back? I think I'd do this. This is going to be a really weird game for me, but you have to, you guys got to stick with me here, okay? You guys got to believe, otherwise it's not going to work. And I think I have to bring Incineroar over Tapu Fini. Yeah, so here's the game plan. If they lead off Incineroar, I'm going to get a boost. And that is what I do. Cope. <laughs> Cope. Kartana, Regieleki. Okay. Um, 
I wonder how much choice band drain punch does. I don't think it comes like even close, but I kind of want to get rid of the Regieleki first and foremost. Do I go Incineroar? I would imagine they definitely go for the Sacred Sword onto me. That's the issue. And they might just Volt Switch or like Electroweb or something. Um, let's just do this. Let's just go for it. I believe. Oh, they protect. Okay. Honestly, that's fine. Uh, this still does a decent chunk. And I can just protect. Ooh, do I want to do that though? I mean, I'd imagine I can take a smart strike from this guy. It's mostly just the double up that concerns me, so I'll protect here. Shoot, maybe I get rid of this Regieleki first. I think Regieleki is like our main issue. Choice Band Drain Punch will do a decent amount. If not one shot. I mean, I, Regieleki is not the bulkiest dude. Thunderbolt, did I get doubled? I certainly did. Okay, how bad is this? It's pretty bad. I think we lose. I would say we probably lose. Let's see if I can get some style points. Yep. Yep. I might be able to get some style points. Gastrodon. Parting shot. Okay. Um, this is doable. We're going to taunt the Gastrodon and go for the close combat onto the Kartana. If the Aleki comes in, it doesn't like that. And I, I would assume the Gastrodon wants to like yawn or something. It could Earth Power, my dude, but it's probably fine. Okay. Okay. How bad is this? It's pretty bad. I don't think I get one shot, but a Volt Switch would really suck, and I think they're definitely going to Volt Switch. Dude, I'm going to stay in. I'm totally about to stay in. I'm going to go so crazy here. Listen, they, they're already predicting. They're already predicting. I'm just going to go crazy and like say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they crit me. Uh, I probably lose because of that. <laughs> uh, because I don't think that... I mean, I hope you take it. Oh, let's go. Big Pog. There's the cart. Uh, they can always just like Sacred Sword me is the issue. But I definitely have to get an Incineroar here. They definitely should have Sacred Sworded, right? No, they just wanted that. Okay, cool. Hold on, I'll have my door open. You guys could hear my mom talking to the dog. <laughs> um, Let me think, is this winnable? I don't think it's winnable. Yeah, I'm going to say that's unwinnable. Let's see if I can get lucky here. Just crit this non-assault vest Kartana. No, okay, good game. All right. Ooh, okay, so this is actually a team that I've been waiting to face, and this is like good stuffs, right? This is the sort of team that you would expect to see just generally. Like, if you didn't know anything about Gen 7, this is the team you would see. Or I guess, you know, Incineroar exists. I don't know. It, it's weird seeing, like, no Tapu, nothing, uh, no Rillaboom. It, it just feels like a solid team. I would imagine Wide Guard on Aegislash. Do I want to go with Death Grips lead? I think I want to go with Death Grips lead because it covers quite a bit. Tapu Fini in the back is actually phenomenal. Uh, I think we leave Stack Attack at home this game, and Incineroar is actually quite nice. <sighs> but so is Zapdos. Zapdos is actually so good. Hmm... Man, this is really tempting. I think we go Incineroar. Incineroar is generally like the safest option. I wish that Weezing had access to Quick Guard. That is what I wish. 
it would be pretty good. All right, Lando Aegis Slash. Dude, I can one-shot this Lando. For real, I can straight up one-shot this Lando as long as they're not Scarf. You're not Scarf, silly. Let's taunt this Aegis Slash, lock it into uh, attack form. Hello. I would love to lock Crush Grip right here. I could also just like protect. But I think I can eat one hit from Aegislash. Slash. It's not that strong. Maybe I should have protected. Maybe I should just protect. <laughs> Maybe I should actually just, you know, follow follow common sense. Super power. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, did you attack? Oh, let's go. Dragapult. Um, I'm gonna say it is time to go Tapu Fini, and I would like to Dazzling Beam, but I think the Taunt, actually, I go Incineroar and Taunt here. Yep, that's fine. Um, your clear body, that's like the main issue here. They don't Dragon Darts, I think. They also don't like Phantom Force. Let's do this. Try to Dazzling Gleam. Because they do have to Phantom Force to do anything, and then I and then I basically get them with the Moonblast on the way in. Yep, there's the Phantom Force. Nice. Uh, unless there's Specs Rotom, I should be fine. And I'll go in Sin here. Oh, you're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. All right, special attack drop. Citrus Berry. Hmm. I still just do this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I still Moonblast you. Actually, I don't Moonblast you. I go for the Parting Shot on the Age of Slash. And Scald. Because they Phantom Force here. Parting Shot. Um, assuming that they wanted to go for a Fighting Move... I think I go into you. Flash Cannon does a decent amount. They shouldn't one-shot me here. I definitely just Moonblast again. And attempt a Dazzling Gleam. And I, I think I can wrap it up with everything I have. No, do I need my... Do I need Death Grips to do anything? I kind of think I need Death Grips to do something because I can lock a Darkest Lariat and win. Yeah, I Moonblast... No, I have to cover for the possible Sash. It's... Ooh, okay. Don't be Sash. Oh, they're Kasib. Okay. Hmm. Check this out. They'll never see it coming. They're minus one special attack. They have to. They can't go for Dragon Darts. So this heal pulse is actually going to be clutch. Because I can just lock Darkest Lariat in a minute. And they're going to have mad issues with this. Nice. Nice. Okay, yeah. Darkest Lariat, super, super safe. I go Incineroar. Or actually, no. I mean, Lariat should KO from that range. I honestly think I just Heal Pulse again. Yeah, because I want to get him in here. That KOs. I get him in here. Protect Lariat onto the Rotom, because it is Choice Bandit. It'll do a ton. If they go for the Ally Switch, I should just straight up KO the Aegis Slash, unless they want to go for, like, Ally Switch King Shield. Yep. Nice. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. Sludge Bomb. 
Darkest Lariat. Dude, that this thing's putting in the work. That's crazy. All right, GG, well played. And now my dog wants to come in, so give me just a minute. <laughs> Okay. That's P Flugmeister. Actually like an like he's like an old friend of the channel. Like way old, like very old friend. Like back when I first started. Crazy. Um ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Is this are you real? I'm a ghost. Okay. Um, is this a stack attack a game? I'm trying to think, like, what are the downsides to what I want to do? Actually, I like hard lose to Dracovish. I could hard lose to Dracovish here. It's probably in my best interest just to go with Death Grips on lead. Or actually, I can lead off Incineroar in this to intimidate the Dracovish first and then go Death. <laughs> it's so weird to say it. Um, and then Tapu Fini in the back. So what I'm going to do is go for the Intimidate on lead and then try to Crush Grip the uh, the Dracovish. Or should Rabbit Strike Dracovish. Okay, that's what I need. Uh, we've Intimidated the Dracovish. We should outspeed Urshfu Rapid Strike, so I can just go for it. I'm concerned about the, the Scarf, but Dracovish is a lot scarier to my team than the Urshifu, so we're just going to Crush Grip that. All right, turning off Strong Jaw. I live, even though they, they crit me. I'm going to KO you. Crush Grip goes crazy. Okay. And yeah, no, this, I, I like KO everything with Crush Crypt now. This Indeedee is my number one priority because it's just like, ah, give me your face. <sighs> you know? It's just like that. It's just like that. That's just the way it is. Actually, I should Crush Crypt the Urshifu in case they want to. Okay, yeah. Like I said, I should Crush Crypt the Urshifu. Dazzling Gleam. Um, now I would actually go for the Crush Crypt and the Urshifu again. And if they want to redirect it, it's fine. Because the Dazzling Gleam would do a lot. One shot. Go for the strikes. I wish I had my berry right now. Luckily, um, Tapu Fini here doesn't seem that bad. Oh, it's Reggie Lucky. Crush Grip still does a ton to the Reggie Lucky. Let's be real here. I'm going to go right into Incineroar and try to Crush Grip this thing. Thunderbolt. Oh, they doubled. They totally doubled. All right. Time to make a bet. That looked like a lot of damage. I'm going to hope that he's Sash. <laughs> or not Sash. Specs. Um, crap, do I lose here? They Thunderbolt this thing? Okay. It's possible. It's possible. I need a one-shot. Special attack drop? Yes! Yes! That's what I need. Okay. Still just Moonblast you. Ah, okay, yeah, that does too much. GG. Yes. All right, let's do one more. That was still really fun, just for clicking Crush Grip. Crush Grip is basically Ficious Rend. That's the best way to think about it. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Crobat. Heard a lot of good things about Crobat. Honestly, no, Death Grips on lead just looks crazy. I just I just pick up KOs. Because I outspeed everything that isn't named Crobat or Latios. And even if I don't outspeed them, I still just hit something and get the get the one shot. Uh in the back, my stack attack looks phenomenal. They don't have a lot of options for that, and I bring my type of Finny. Alright. Obviously, I don't think this is like the ideal Regigigas team. This is like a this is like a Reggie Gigas team I put together in a couple of minutes, like 15 minutes. I think that we can optimize it a little bit better and make Reggie Gigas actually viable. If Return was in this generation, Reggie Gigas would actually be crazy. If we had a better normal move, 
it would be crazy. Um, but we don't, and that's like the main issue. Ooh, here's an issue. Here is an issue. How much does my crush grip do to Crobat from this range? Actually, what am I more scared of, Crobat or Rotom? I think I'm more scared of Rotom. But will I get burned is the real question. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, this is a little bit annoying. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just do it. Even if he burns me, this is going to do a ton. Oh, no, he just lets me take it. <laughs> oh, that's a slow crowbat. Whirlwind. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty nice. I have two fairies in the field versus a crowbat. That's not too bad, though. Uh, we've turned off Grimmsnarl's Prankster. So honestly, this isn't that bad of a play just to double it. One. Second one. I outspeed. Two. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm in a pretty good spot. Um... Just take you on. I'm going to taunt the Finny in case it's Calm Mind. I don't want to have to deal with that. That does a lot. Crit wouldn't have KO'd me, though. Yeah, it is Calm Mind. Good. Take care of that. I get the burn, which is super nice. Let's go for Moonblast Sludge Bomb. I'm actually not scared of this thing anymore. Really, it just comes down to get in the, uh, the funny dude. Get in the Regigigas and win. Scald. Ooh, crit. No burn, nice. No special attack drop. Let's do this. Let's actually deal with you first, and I'll protect here. A double up might KO me. Nope, got rid of you. Cool. Um, I forgot, was my Finny faster? Oh wait, they still have Tailwind up. I'm going to sack my stack attacker in an effort just to get in the Regigigas to go for the, the gamer, the gamer play. Yep. Time for the gamer play. Get in you. Crush grip is only 52 base power. So now my strongest move is high horsepower, right? 52 times. One, yeah. High horsepower. It's choice banded. It should do the trick. Should do the trick. Not quite. Oh, that explains why. All right, we're still in a winning position. Like they don't, they can't deal with the damage output unless they have like, you know, what's the move? <laughs> Draining kiss. Nice. GG, well played. The crush grip does indeed go crazy. Was today the greatest of, of showdown lives? No. Was today one of the funnest? I would argue yes. Um some thoughts. I want to give some thoughts on how I would further improve this team if I were to continue to run it this season. Stack attack is almost useless. I think I actually might drop the stack for something else. I do like the, I do actually really like the, um, where are you? Where'd the team go? I do like the, uh, Zapdos on here, but I think stack is more or less pretty useless. Uh, I need a better, Ur I, I have answers to Urshifu Dark, Urshifu Rabbit Strike seems a little bit annoying, but really my main issue is going to be Regieleki. If you if you didn't notice, the Regieleki was actually pretty annoying for us. Um, answers, obviously a ground type is going to be one of the best for that. I would say we can probably just slap on like a Lando T here, or even the Lando I. Lando I might not be that bad of an option, but then the team seems a little bit too offensive in my opinion. I do like Lando T. I'm going to experiment with that. Lando I might be better since I believe the life orb is still going unused, but I, I want to make a bulkier team than if than if I had Lando I. Also, Lando I feels like it needs much better speed control than than one shot something and just hope it doesn't attack. So next version is going to have a Lando I. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.